for a bad record that they have a zeal of God. Because my people got a zeal of God. They in all them churches on Sunday. Yeah. Everybody you ask that they believe in God, right? But not according to knowledge. But they don't have that zeal according to knowledge. You understand? They haven't been taught God's law. Gave us Christianity. You understand? Is it anywhere in the Bible that you see the prophets working Christianity? Anywhere? Did you see Christ going and say, I'm going up to the Christian church? No. So, what did they do? What did the followers of Christ do? You're a follower of Christ, right? Tell me, what, as a follower of Christ, what should you do? Because I have yet to hear a Christian tell me what they should do as a follower of Christ. You would think that. Something that the pastor would make known to you. Watch this. I'm going to show you first and foremost. Give me that uh, first. Thing. First Peter chapter 2 and verse 21. Bring it up. For even hereunto were ye called, because Christ also suffered, oh, I'm sorry, suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. So Christ left us an example that we should follow his steps. That's how you become a follower of Christ, by following his steps. Watch up. Who did no sin. Who did what? No sin. Who did no sin. So that's how you follow Christ, by not, not committing sin. Now, now watch this. I hear Christians say that all the time. Now watch this. And then I ask them something very simple, and they have no clue what is sin. Christ said he Christ didn't commit sin. So what is sin? What did he not do? I'm gonna show you what sin is. Think about that. The pastor told you he was a sinner. Christ, you're supposed to follow Christ's example, who did no sin. You should be saying, Well, I don't want to be a sinner. I want to follow Christ. I don't want to commit sin. Right. So tell me what sin is so I don't commit. Wouldn't that is that not logical? Here is what sin is. First John chapter 3 and verse 4. Bring it up. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. Whoever commits sin breaks God's law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the breaking of God's law. That's what sin is. So how many laws and commandments are there? No, sis. Remember, you wasn't taught the laws and commandments. You wasn't taught the laws of commandments. Hundreds, hundreds. Some say six, over 600 commandments. Hundreds of commandments, sis. I'm gonna give you a simple one that you can go change. I'm gonna give you two, well, three. I see, I see you right now in, in three sins. Three sins, watch it, I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna first, I'm gonna show you something. But first of all, watch this. Remember this right here, who gave us this? Our enemies, right? Matthew 24 and 4, first. Watch what Christ said. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 24. Verse 4. 
Matthew chapter 24 and verse 4. You believe in Christ, right? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. He said, Take heed that no man deceive you, right? Don't let nobody lie to you. Now, look, if the Bible was closed, we could easily lie to you, couldn't we? But we were actually reading from the Bible, right? Look what Christ said. Take heed that no man deceive you, what? For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. Many gonna come in his name saying, I am Christ. Meaning they're gonna say they're Christians. What can you say they, those Christians are gonna do? And shall deceive many. They're gonna deceive many. Check this out. Remember I told you those are God's chosen people? Well, the enemies of God put God's chosen people in slavery and gave you Christianity. That's right. And Christ told you that they will come in his name, saying they're Christians, and will deceive you. Watch this. Verse 24. Verse 24. For there shall arise false Christ. They're going to arise false Christ. Do you consider this a false Christ? Or just, do you think this is Jesus? You don't know what he looked like? But Christ said there's going to arise false Christ. Watch this. And false prophets. So if there's going to rise a false Christ, they're going to be prophets teaching false Christ. Correct? So let's find out what Christ looked like. Revelation 1 and 14. Let's see if he looked like this. Revelation. The Bible gives you a description of Christ. Oh, we're going to believe the Bible, right? You ever heard, you should know the truth and the truth should set you free? Today you're going to learn the truth of Christ. All right. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. Read out. Verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The root word of revelation is to reveal. The revealing of Jesus Christ. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Check out verse 3. Verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth. Blessed is he that readeth. Blessed is he that readeth. Uh -huh. And they that hear the words of this prophecy. So guess what? Today is a blessing. You're going to hear the prophecy of what Christ looked like. That's a good thing you stop. Jump down to verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Said the hair on his head and the hair on his face was wool in texture and white in color. Is this wool in texture? So this is a what? A lie. But it, that's wool in texture, right? And it's white in color. I mean, it was fully gray. Read. As white as snow. Uh -huh. And... His eyes were as a flame of fire. His, eye, his eyes were a flame of fire, meaning the whites of his eyes was red. You understand? His first miracle turned water to what? Wine. He drank that wine. You understand? Three. Verse 15. And his feet like unto fine brass. Exactly what you said. His feet was like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Brown. Let's see how brown he was. As if they burned in a furnace. You burn anything, what color is it? He burned something. What color is it? And so he was a black, black, dark skinned black man. That's right. And this is right. what, sis? Yeah. A lie. This was given to us by who? Our oppressors. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So our oppressors, are they ruling the earth now? Job 9 and 24. So, so I can show you something that what they did. Because remember, they ruling the earth. So they set the laws. And guess what? And watch this. Job chapter 9 and verse 24. Read it out. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So the earth is given to them. They're the wicked. Right. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. He covered the faces of the judges. The main judge is who? Jesus Christ. He made him white. He covered the faces. The people of the book, they painted them white. He made them white in all the movies. Watch it. If not, where and who is he? It ain't the white man. He said, where and who is he? Right. Who did it if it wasn't the white man? He's the wicked that's ruling the earth, right? That's right. So, so watch this. Here's the Sabbath day, sis. Now remember, we got religion and slavery. They gave us a day off. We couldn't just sit there and say, you know what? Say, hey, 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 master. I'm, I'm, I'm working today. Yeah, we, we couldn't just say that, right? So watch this. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Bring it out. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. He said, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. Six days you're going to labor and do all your work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. The seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord. 
What day is the seventh day? Look at you, you got a phone? You said what day? Oh, I thought you said Sunday. Yes, so Saturday is the Sabbath, right? So what day is everybody else keeping church? Sunday. And remember, this is Elijah, right, sis? Watch this. Give me a back to 2018. I'm going to give you something else that's going on. Bring it out. Watch this, sis. Remember, a lot of things of how we follow God. Matter of fact, before you get that, give me uh, give me that in Romans 10. Because you got to realize, in slavery, we were lied to and deceived. You know, this right here, Christianity, has been the worst thing that ever happened to the black man and woman. Because they didn't teach us God's laws. They got us sinning against God. You understand? Because we haven't been taught God's laws. And a lot of times, just because we learn something, we don't want to unlearn it. That's what called brainwashing is. When they brainwash you and teach you a lie, and you sit there and hold on that lie, and you don't want to turn to God, that's why he said we still think and rebellious. Because we can hear the truth and reject the truth. That's cool. Watch it. You want to start with one? Start verse one. Yes, sir. Romans chapter 10 and verse 1. Bring it up. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. So, hey, that's a simple prayer. No, my heart's desire is that Israel might be saved. I want my people to be saved. I want the blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, the 12 tribes of children of Israel. I want them to be saved. Read. For I bear the record that they have a zeal of God. Because my people got a zeal of God. They in all them churches on Sunday. Yeah. Everybody you ask that they believe in God, right? But not according to knowledge. But they don't have that zeal according to knowledge. You understand? They haven't been taught God's laws. That's the knowledge that they lack. You understand? Habakkuk 2 and 18. Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 18. Bring it up. Remember I was telling you about me knowing God's laws? I can easily look at someone and make righteous judgment because I know the laws. So I can tell you a law that you're breaking. I'm not going to judge you like, you know, put you to death, but I can tell you so you can come out your sin. That's what true love is. That's what brotherly love is, so I don't cause my sister to sin, because the wages of sin is what? Death. So if you're in sin, you don't want to stay in it, you want to come out of it. Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 18. What profit is the graven image? He said, what profit the graven image? That the maker thereof have graven it. The molten image. And a teacher of lies. And a teacher of lies. The cross is a molten image. It's a graven image. It symbolizes death. Christ, Christ never, the Bible never tells us to have it. It actually tells us to burn it. That's right. It tells you to burn that thing with fire. To get rid of it. Now, that, watch it. And see, we, and keep in mind, we, we had that zeal of God. We wanted to represent that we believe in Christ. You understand? But the white man gave us the cross. This was the death sentence of God's people. The Romans were killing thousands upon thousands of our people on the cross. If somebody shot everybody in your family with a nine millimeter, you ain't gonna go put a nine millimeter around your neck. You see what I'm saying? Read. Deuteronomy chapter seven and verse twenty-five. Read it out. The graven images of their gods shall ye burn with fire. You supposed to do what with it? Burn with fire. You're supposed to take that thing off around your neck sis, and cast it away because it's a teacher of lies. It causes our people to sin. You understand? That's what it does. I'm going to give you another law. That this is this law, this sin right here, is something that our, our women are doing. And our, listen, it has a stronghold on our women. The Bible tells you in the last days, when Christ returns, he's going to kill two thirds of our people. Two thirds. That's going to be millions. Yeah, they're going to die in nuclear fire. That's what the Bible is talking about, nuclear fire, right? And they're going to die because they wouldn't come out of their sins. They, 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 the wages of sin is what? They're going to die because they wouldn't change. They wouldn't repent. And one of the things that, you believe you're a child of God, right? Well, guess what? God loved his children so much, he gave them rules. You know, you have children? Did you dress them? So you, you wanted them to yeah, you wanted them to respect your name. God gave his children a dress code so they can respect his name. And you know, we're the children of Israel. We're the prince of the power. So he gave us a dress code for us to follow. Watch it. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. 
The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. He said a woman shouldn't wear that which pertaineth to a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. All that do so are an abomination. Anything that's an abomination, you can't get into the kingdom. You understand? So there's certain foods that's an abomination, and cross-dressing is an abomination. A man wearing a dress, he's not getting into the kingdom. So what was something that women wear that pertained to men that would keep them out of the kingdom? Huh? Pants. Yes. Or oh, well, shit is out. I understand you're at work. Keep in mind, we're in captivity, right? So watch this. Watch this. Where you work at? OJ's. What's that? OJ's, that's a restaurant. That's a restaurant. So you can wear a dress. You can't, or you still want to. You ain't gonna wear one? I wear dresses, but I'm not gonna wear them at work. Why not? No, we're not allowed to wear dresses. You can't wear Have you just asked me? Because jobs can't really discriminate for you wearing pants, especially a job like that where your, your safety is not in risk for working in a diner. So, because you can wear a dress at work. Skirt. A skirt. Yeah, you can wear a skirt, sis. Yeah, you can wear a skirt. You know what I'm saying? Keep in mind, you don't want to miss out on the key to mobile pants. Because, you know, you know, think about this right here. Our people don't think that God will judge them off of what we wear. Give me stuff an hour one in there. Because remember, you know, you know the grace we're supposed to be under? We are under grace, right? Have you ever had your rent due on the first and you didn't have it? And they gave you a five-day grace period? Come that fifth day, you had to have your rent? Or else you got put out? Yeah. Right, right. They start, they start the eviction process. Well, we are under grace. You understand? And that grace period runs out when Christ returns. Right. And if you're not keeping God's laws when Christ returns, you want to die. That's how he. That's how he judges our people. So he's given us an opportunity to get what? Right. Watch this. Zephaniah one and Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 8. Bring it out. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice. That's judgment day. That I will punish. That means put to death. The princes and the king's children. That's all of us. And all such as are clothed with strains of peril. So all women wearing pants, all men wearing women clothes, forget put to death. Not having fringes on your clothes, get you put to death. But see, uh, is that not an easy law to keep though? Yes, yeah, easy. Very easy. First John 5 and 3. Because, and see, that's what we got to realize. You love God? Yeah. Watch this. And, and you know what, sis? I, I believe you. Because you got a good spirit about yourself. You ain't flipped out like a lot of our people. They flip out. I don't believe it. I don't know. Uh -huh. What Bible you read? They, they get all the senses over God's law. But look what God said about his law. First John chapter 5 and verse 3. For this is the love of God. This is the love of God. That we keep his commandments. That we keep his commandments. We keep his law. And his commandments are not grievous. It's not hard to do. Right, and so, and so when you hit a law, guess what? You should be glad to do it. That's because right. Because the wages of sin is what again? And you ain't trying to die. No, you trying not. to get into the kingdom, right? right? Give me Revelation 22 and 14. Our last verse for you, for these, uh, to close out. Watch it. Revelation chapter 22 and verse 14. Bring it up. Blessed are they that do his commandments. Blessed are they that keep God's commandments. So getting rid of that cross, giving out them pants, that they may have right to the tree of life. That they may have right to the tree of life. Read. And may enter in through the gates of the city. That's who's going to walk through those gates. Those that's keeping the commandments and faith in Christ. That's right. You understand? Know what is the nation? <laughs> Nation is men leading by example. 